uh, let's have a look at the design of my new wicket press. Uh, at least the press I'd like to make. Uh, this is a game called Second Life. You can build things in it. I used to demonstrate or design my uh, wicket press. As you can see, the press uh, is powered by a wood splitter. I've got a wood splitter that goes uh, moves 35 centimeter and it has a power of 7 tons that should be enough uh, to press brickets more than enough there are several parts the first part is the cylinder as I call it the place where the brickets are pressed and that is this part it's uh, 20 centimeters by 10 centimeters and has an overall length of 40 centimeters. This is a pressing chamber. Uh, the chamber is uh, has a length of 20 centimeters. On top is a hole, 10 by 10, and back here is another space of 10 centimeters. Uh, it will be clear in a minute why that is. So from up here the mixture is poured in it's kept in place by the piston and it will uh, flow all the way in the chamber there's a door over here the door locks automatically because of this weight here this weight will pull and or gravity will pull the weight down and the door will close not this far, like this. There's a lever under here that is going to be used to open the door automatically when a bricket is pressed. So, the mixture is poured in. You can pour it by hand or use uh, some kind of hopper. I'm intending to use a hopper so I can put a lot of mixture up here and keep pressing, keep pressing. Uh, let's have a look what's happening. Oh yeah, over here, this beam, it holds the cylinder in place, uh, so it won't be pushed away by the piston. This is the piston part. The piston part is uh, pushed by the piston of the wood splitter. When the wood splitter is activated, it pushes the whole piston to the front as you can see the opening here is closed so it's ideal to work with the hopper it closes so nothing uh, drops down behind the piston no mixture is uh, dropped behind the piston so as the wood spreader pushes the piston goes forward until this position We got here. Oh, yeah. This position, there's a bricket in here right now. You can hardly see it, but I'll open the door so you can see it. This is the bricket, it's pressed. When the piston uh, comes in this position, then underneath there's a wedge. The switch moves along with the piston and from this uh, position it starts opening the lock. Of course the door should be closed while it's operating. So uh, this locks the door. Uh, the wedge pushes up against this lever when it goes up. When the piston drives or presses the, the mixture, this lever is pushed down. You can see it still locks here. Now I'm not going to use uh, a round rod or something, I'm going to use a square one. So it's, it keeps pushing against the door just uh, till the last minute 
or last second when it really has to open. Otherwise, in this position, the pressure on the door might uh, push against this rod and it may open uh, by itself. Then That's not the idea. So it should open by this wedge, which keeps going forward just until this position, as you can see here. Then the wedge, zoom out a little bit so I can turn. The wedge is opened, has opened the lock, as you can see here. No lock anymore. And the piston in here is pushing the bricket real hard right now, about 7 ton pressure. So this door will open right now by the pressure of the brick. And the brick is pushed out by the piston. I have to adjust it a little bit. So like this. Piston is uh, pushed out. There's a little piece of iron right here to guide the, the piston and uh, make sure the brick isn't, isn't damaged by the lock when it falls down right here. The door will be open at this position. The brick will fall out at this moment. At least I hope so. <laughs> when the brick falls out the door closes by gravity, piston goes back, the door closes like so. The witch is still at this maximum here, that's why this piece is uh, added. And while the piston is going back, the wedge is going back. Right here the lock will lock the door again. That's by this uh, piece of rod or whatever and this weight. This weight will uh, make sure that gravity pulls down and the door locks again like this. The lever stops the turning uh, from the, the weight, so the door is, is locked again. Meanwhile the piston is still going back. Now opening the filling hole on top and again the mixture will go in, or you, you pour it in, but when you use a hopper the mixture will go in automatically. And we're up to make the next brick. Just uh, start the wood splitter again. And the whole process repeats itself. And you can keep pressing and pressing and pressing bricks until your hopper is empty. So it's a pretty fast uh, way to make uh, good bricks, good solid bricks. 7 tons of pressure. It should be pretty dry and pretty pressed. And the operating time for the piston to go from this position to this position it's about uh, I think about 7 to 8 seconds. Coming back about 12 seconds. So within 20 seconds you can uh, press a brick from 20 centimeters by 10 centimeters and it will be 6 centimeters high. A pretty nice brick and you can press up to 3 bricks a minute so 180 bricks an hour. I think that's pretty good since I have a lot of access uh, good access to a lot of uh, wood dust 
I think this is a, a great way to use the wood dust, uh, the sawdust, to make some bricks for the fire, for the, my stove, my wood stove, which I made myself, by the way. So, hope you enjoy this. I'm going to make this uh, pretty soon. I will make a, a video on it, on how to make it, the, the working process, all this. And you will see. Yes, you'll see it uh, when it's uh, done and how it's operated and how fast it will work and what the quality of the bricks will be. So, see you next time. Hope you enjoyed. See ya.